Hello, welcome to the beginning of my series on the very basic tools and knowledge you might need to know in order to uh, get into modding Elden Ring. Um, some of these things will extend onto other FromSoft games such as Dark Souls 3 or Sekiro, but I'm going to mostly focus on Elden Ring in this series. This video is a very quick video, just explaining how to unpack your game files and get access to the individual assets within the game. The program we're going to use is UXM Selective Unpacker. It's very simple, you run the program, you find the install of the game you want. Here I have Dark Souls 3 selected. And here I am in the Elden Ring install folder, go into game, find the exe, and unpack. What this program is doing is unpacking all of the data archives into their expanded file trees so that you can access the more specific archives. For previous games such as Dark Souls 3, UXM Unpacker was used to patch in your mods. If you find any tutorials that suggest to do that, you do not need to do that for Elden Ring or Dark Souls 3 anymore. You use something called Mod Engine 2. So if you have that information, you don't you don't need to do that anymore. Not necessary. Mod Engine 2 is a much cleaner way of um, patching in your mod into the game. This process can take some time depending on your, your computer specs, so if you're running a lower end machine it might be a good opportunity to go and make some food or a drink and then come back after. Okay, so once your unpacking is complete, you'll see green bar is full, unpacking complete, you can close UXM Selective Unpacker and in the game directory there'll be a whole bunch of folders. These are unpacked copies of your game data, each folder being a representative of a part of the game's internal file tree. For example, the parts folder is a copy of every part file that the game has. Parts are weapons and armor. So you can see down here WP A0881. That is some kind of weapon. If I was to open this DCX archive, I would have access to the files that make up that weapon. You can also access the message folder, menu, chr, script. Any asset that the game is made up of can be found in these folders. These files that you can access are good for the base of any kind of mod that you're trying to make. It allows you to easily see how the game does things, which is ideally the best way for you to do things. Be sure to check in on other tutorials to see how to actually use and edit these files to create your own mod.